few of our basic pumps feature a standard pump head, which requires changing the internal pump head parts to accept Presta or Schrader valve types. First, identify your pump setup and tire valve type. If your pump head features a wider opening and plastic central pin, this is set up for a Schrader valve. A Schrader valve is similar to the valve on a car or motorcycle tire. If your pump head features a narrow opening, this is set up for a Presta or French valve. A Presta valve is common on high-pressure road tubes and lightweight mountain bike tubes. To change the internal parts to accept a Presta valve, unscrew the pump head cap. Open the thumb lock lever to help push out the internal parts. Reverse the direction of both internal parts. Reinsert internal parts. Lower the thumb lock lever and screw on the pump head cap. To change the internal parts to accept a Schrader valve, simply reverse the process. Hi, I'm Matt from Vibrelli, and this is an introduction to the Vibrelli mini bike pump. This is a great pump for all types of riding, road, mountain bike, or just everyday use. It's a really strong pump, yet it's lightweight, weighing just over five ounces. It also has a clever valve system built into it meaning it can attach to Presta or Schrader valves automatically. All you simply do is remove the dust cap, attach it to the valve, lock it into position, and start inflating. You don't have to take this pump apart to swap any adapters. It's quick and easy. It also comes with a telescope design, meaning the barrel can unlock and extend. This allows you to get more volume per stroke for faster inflation. And then when you want to get to higher pressure, you simply lock the barrel off and you can finish off with higher pressure inflation at the end. We also provide a mounting bracket which attaches to the bottle cage holes and it clips onto the pump to hold it nice and snug and then we have a velcro strap which holds it into place to stop rattling or it coming off. We also provide a sports ball needle adapter which screws in here so you can pump up all of your sports balls as well. As part of your purchase we also provide a handy glueless puncher repair kit. Patches don't require any glue. You simply peel, apply over the puncher, inflate, and be back riding in no time. And it's really small and lightweight and can easily fit in your saddlebag. The pump also comes in a matte black or the silver for your preference. So this is an introduction to the Vibrelli Mini Bike Pump. Happy ride. Hi, I'm Tim with Crank Brothers, and today we're gonna to talk about our gem pump. With the gem pump, we have a dual head feature, which is reversible, so it'll fit on both Presta and Trader valves. We also have a nice little adapter on the bottom which allow you to change from high pressure to high volume setting to adapt to whether you're using it on a mountain bike or on a road bike. Now in order to change the gasket or the internal parts depending on your valve style you're going to unscrew the cap and just give the lever a light pull until you see the bit exposed and where you can reach in and take out the gasket and the adapter. Once you have those pieces out the orientation is quite simple. Fitting the two large pieces together as you can see like this would orientate it for the Presta valve and slip in this way. If you reverse those the opposite, where you have the small head fit into the small bit, you've now set it up for the Schrader valve. And just install your cap back on and you're ready to go. For this particular case, since we have a Presta valve, we'll go ahead and get it ready for that. Again, we'll go big, big, insert it into the pump, tighten the cap. Now, first thing we wanna do is open up the Presta valve and free it up. Make sure you're ready for pumping. Insert the pump nozzle over the valve. Lift the lever in order to lock it in place. And I suggest taking your hand and grabbing the spoke and holding the head of the pump in place so that when you're forcing air into the tire, you're not putting any stress onto the valve. Pump up to your, the desired pressure. Once you've reached your desired pressure, just relief the valve, remove the pump. Remember to tighten the valve back down.
Hi, I'm Tim with Crank Brothers, and today we're going to talk about the click pump. The click pump is great. It has a hose built into the handle. It's held into the head by a high-powered magnet. It has a reversible valve, Presto or Schrader. In this particular version, it also has a gauge built in and a CO2 adapter. Now, to use the pump, first thing you're going to do is loosen your valve, and then you just screw it on, and there's a check valve that holds the pressure in place. Then with your flexible hose, you can just use the high-powered magnet to connect, then you can pump. Once you reach your desired pressure, simply detach the pump, remove the hose, close the valve, store the hose back up inside the handle, and you're done. To use the CO2 head, just unscrew the cap, Pull the CO2 adapter out of the handle. You're going to puncture the CO2 cartridge by threading it in all the way until it reaches the bottom. Then you're going to press it onto your Presta valve and then back off the cartridge about a quarter turn and that will release the air into the tire. Once you've achieved the proper tire pressure you're looking for, go ahead and screw it back down tight again. Pull it off the valve, tighten the Presta, and you're good to go.